Hey, uh, thanks Pork Chop Ollie for the uh, request. And I wanted to point out before the video gets started, guys, make sure you always back up anything that you're going to be changing. Um, so I do talk about worlds in this a little bit and maybe using your personal world. So make sure you back those up before you move them over or try to uh, use any kind of server. Always make sure you have a good backup. I just wanted to point that out. So hopefully you guys don't have any issues. Hey guys, we're back. I got a request from uh, Wally to do a, a uh, bed, Bedrock dedicated server. And this is from Mojang, their official. Uh, it's separate from uh, the Pocket Mine, some of the other videos you've seen. Uh, completely different software. And uh, if you're going to run a server at home and you want all the features and all the blocks and stuff that's going to be in Minecraft, uh, you know, all that content that is owned by Mojang and everything, then this is really the server you want to set up, okay? And um, so all we're going to do is we I'll, I'll leave the link uh, in the description to get to this page. And then we got to come down here. This is for uh, Linux. And this is the version of Linux you need to use if you want to run it on Linux. It doesn't work on the others as well. You, there's some ways to get around it and make it work. But it's a pain, to be honest with you. Uh, so make sure you use uh, Ubuntu to, to build to uh, if you're going to run the Linux. But this video is going over Windows, so we're going to click, click over here and click I agree. We're going to click on Download. Uh, we're going to Save. And every time uh, Windows gets updated, you want to get the new Windows Server software update. Okay. Uh, there could be Windows servers updates in between, but you always want to have at least the uh, latest one that matches. And you can see here it's 1.14.60. That's all it shows on the, the client, but it is 0.5. That's how you know. There could be some other releases in between before that but as long as you have the latest one that matches your client then you should be okay the server and client has to match all right and as soon as that gets done downloading we'll, we'll grab it out okay so it's down downloading we're gonna click on open folder we're gonna grab it better bedrock dedicated server or bedrock server here 1.14 uh, and dot zip and I'm gonna cut it and I've got a shortcut on my desktop BDS server you can name it the folder whatever you want but I like putting it in folders and so I know where they're at and I'm running it from my desktop so that's okay so again we're gonna once we get that done let's close this up that's just my download folder you can see all the junk I have in it but we're going to right click on here and we're going to use 7 as imp again and, and extract to the folder uh, that way it keeps the same name and everything from here you basically got it set up uh, when you get ready to run this server you could have a, uh, an issue where it pops up and wants you to open up ports or whatever. Go ahead and do that. If you get another message, uh, let me know. But that's the, all the messages here. And it tells you there's a link here to go ahead and open up and tell you how to run a server too. But we get all the white lists and all those properties set up in here. It's using the default uh, portal or a port and everything in here. Right now, you don't see any worlds, but once we run the server the first time, you'll be able to see that. Okay, guys, once you get it extracted, uh, we come over to that folder, and we're just going to click on uh, the Bedrock server. And then you'll have this command window pop up, and it's creating the world and all that good stuff. It's setting it all to the de default stuff. It's survival, and then it's on easy. And pretty much we have a, a uh, MCPE server running now on your desktop on Windows 10 for me in Windows 10. And uh, I, I don't know if it'll work on the lower versions of Windows, so uh, you can try it, but I, I, I would run, update to Windows 10, it's pretty much free to still update uh, if you could do a Google search and everything. Uh, did it get a pop-up uh, from the firewall? And so we'll just click on allow access. And I, I'm gonna point out a couple things to, to finish off this video, but I'm not gonna go into a lot of details. You. You're going to get your world uh, if you want to have a world that you've been playing and share that with the uh, on the server. That's where you would go into this, this folder here called Worlds. Uh, this is the default name that it generates. Uh, you can copy your world in here and rename it that and rename this default one, or you can even delete this. You can't delete it while it's running. You'll get problems. But say you shut down the server, then you delete this folder. You copy over your world folder, and you rename it Bedrock Level that will work or whatever your world name is you want to copy it in here again 
that's where you got to have it for the the server to recognize where it's at but then you would go into server properties let me open this up in notepad uh, open with notepad I use uh, notepad plus plus but just for most people if you don't want to install another program this will work notepad will for this so let's extend the file and we're going to go up here to the top and you can read through this it tells it's a dedicated server you could change this name but you don't need to this is where you type in where the survival creative or adventure uh, your difficulty it tells you what you can use uh, if you can use cheats or not defaults false max players is 10 um, you don't need to change that but if you wanted to you can look like a pro and type in 1000 and it would show up that a 1000 people could join even though it's probably not going to run very well <laughs> Online mode pro uh, true, just leave that alone. That's so you can authenticate through Xbox Live. It's good to have it. Uh, whitelist if you want to whitelist so other people can't connect, you just type that to true, change it to true. And to do that for changing all these settings, you just highlight it and type in whatever the option is here. Just don't use the quotation marks. So we're, I'm going to change it back to false. And then if you're typing this stuff up and you goof up, just don't save it. Just close it up and don't save, and then you reopen the file back up. Okay, so we get down to an important part is the port. I'll leave that there. If you're confident and you know how to change that, you can change the port here. If IPv6, this is the port. Uh, the view distance, tick distance, that's around the player. This is the uh, view distance in the world. Uh, player idle timeout. So, like, if you want to give people... A long time for just standing there maybe they're reading something you could change that to maybe 90 seconds so a minute and a half and that's what is the seconds before they get kicked off uh, so we'll just change it back to 30 so it's a default this is how many threads that we use on your CPU so um, depending on how many threads you have on your CPU you can change that uh, okay and here's the name that's what I wanted to get to bedrock level so if your world was something called something else uh, that's where you would put the name and it has to be exactly that way and you don't have to put quotations around if there's spaces obviously because you see the bedrock level is that way uh, you could put the seed in here but that needs to the seed needs to be in there before you start the world uh, so once you start the world it's already generated the seed so you won't be able to change it uh, default player permissions as a member and it tells you what else you can set them as and texture packs and all that stuff so you can read down through it like I said I'm not going to go through all of it right now I went through quite a bit of it but that it should get you guys going on creating your own bedrock dedicated server on Windows 10 um, I'm going to click on save I don't think we changed anything I actually I'll just click on cancel because I don't think we changed anything but if you did save the name you changed the name in here you would definitely want to save it and I'm going to click on Don't Save. But anyway, guys, hope this helps you. If you did, you know, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I try to make uh, content tutorials like this to help you out. And it really does appreciate it. Uh, really does help me out grow, too. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.